Okay, so I've got the engine running because I just need to nip out and get a few bits. But uh, you can see I'm starting to install the flat drag bars. Uh, so I'm just doing some measurements and whatnot. You know, kind of how much clearance that I'm going to have at full lock. So maybe I need to twist those up a bit. When the grip goes about there, so I should have a little bit of clearance. For the bars, so that's the flat drag bars, and you can see how much of a reach difference it is. So I'm all the way down here. Oh, I get quite a few inches back. So much less of a, and you've noticed like wear on my grips because of the the increased weight on the bars. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit more laid back now. So there you go, I'm going to spray paint these black, I'm going to black it all out. And um, I was also playing around with inverting the bar risers. So you can kind of do them that way as well. But uh, it didn't make a, a whole load of difference in, in terms of clearance on full lock on the tank. So I'm just going to keep them the normal way. Yeah, it's, it's actually a little bit different, isn't it? but it's it's moving me forward again, I think. Yeah, I, I think I, I gain more comfort if they're the right way around. But if you're having clearance problems with the tank, then you could probably invert them and save a bit of space. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter which way these are. I mean, it doesn't look right, but it doesn't really fucking matter. So... All right, so I'm going to measure this up. I always drill the holes in the bars because these these things have these little pins, and it stops it so that when you twist it, twist the throttle, the whole um, kind of component doesn't twist with it. So there there are. If you have a look at the original bars, and you can see how much of a difference in sweep that is. Look, so so much more comfortable, but you know a bit too much look at that look at the fucking sweep on that um but you can see underneath there's these holes here and they're not in exactly the same place like these two slightly different this one's for the throttle and basically this component here there's a little pin that pops in there so when you tighten it up together you rev the throttle and the whole thing doesn't move across it stays there as you twist the throttle so that's why I'm going to be measuring this up then drilling the holes in it like I did with the clip-ons I've drilled holes in my clip-ons so uh, yeah flat drag bars going on because you know it's a little bit more comfortable I've installed the flat drag bars this is the bike I've got a belly pan on the way by the way um, which is really cool, so it's going to look very street fighter-y. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's have a look. These are the flat drag bars. And, um, like the clip-ons, which were a pain to install. Because, in order to fit the clip-ons in, I had to file away here. And here. And I spray-painted it black as well, so you can't really notice I ever filed away at it. Um, but in order for the clip-ons to fit in there, bits need to be filed away um, and everything was rather tight I had to rewire the cables for the clip-ons now different story with the flat drag bars you can see the clearance here this is a front this is a front brake hose coming from the reservoir and it's touching that nut is touching that nut my nuts are touching other nuts um, so yeah I had to, in order to get that clearance, um, I had to invert the bar risers when they were the other way around, the nut and hose was touching the other nut, 
and it meant that the brake lever was like up here and so when I got the clearance I could get it down and so this is this is so tight like the fitting of everything is is down to the millimeter um, what I could do to alleviate this and get the lever further down if I needed to but I don't because it's in a good place is add washers under here also the bar rise is like there's a small sweep that sweep comes up a little bit to you know bring everything a little bit more further away as far as possible so uh, yeah flat drag bars pain in the ass what did I get out of it well um, this is quite interesting because I love handling I love handling more than power I spent money on suspension and good tires on this bike and and that's why I got the clip-ons because of the, the additional handling the handling is without a doubt better on the clip-ons way more easier to flick into different directions let's say you're hitting a hairpin or whatever um, the clip-ons reign supreme that's why all the sport bikes have them they're just better um, the flat drag bars are better than the OEM bars but nowhere near you know it's not a half half affair they feel very much like the OEM bars really um, and so you know I am missing already the, the loss of handling that I had from the clip-ons and um, yeah unfortunately that's a situation that I can't win I guess what I'm trying to get at here is the um, you've got to ask yourself what it is that you're going to ride your bike for before you do any upgrades when I ran with the clip-ons it was like my motorbike was primed and ready to attack corners and tracks and whatnot but 99% of my riding because I'm a dad and just don't have time to smash it in the weekends is 99% um, of my riding is on the street during rush hour so with the clip-ons you're so low down it starts to eat at your wrists like it builds fatigue a lot a lot faster you start getting achy a lot quicker because of the positioning and there's postures which can so, you know help get you through that like for instance um, you can clamp your knees on the tank to relieve pressure from your wrists stuff like that um, but when you're going for a school zone at 40 kilometers an hour into a red light then into congested traffic just clamping the knees on the tank um, gets you thinking it's like have I got the right tool for the job here you know I'm trying to conserve my energy with these posture posture techniques however I'm literally just going for a school zone and 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 doing lots of boring mundane things like sitting at traffic lights on my commutes or when I'm riding to the next job so um it was uh yeah it was something i had to get rid of i started thinking again what am i doing with this bike and it was like well i'm commuting so i need my comfort back i mean don't get me wrong i can still use these flat drag bars on the, some twisties during the the weekends it's not going to feel as good but because it's like one percent of my riding because most weekends i don't get the chance um it means that I can just have the comfort and, and still enjoy the twisties with a bike that doesn't handle as well as it used to but it's still a good handling bike still enjoy it so you know in many ways I'm upset about the downgrade but I also got what I wanted out of it as well I got the comfort and um, you know I certainly don't miss the clip-ons when I'm doing my day-to-day -day, but I will miss them when I hit the twisties <laughs> <laughs>